G'day guys, it's Tom here from Cricket Mentoring and today we're going to talk about how to select a cricket bat. I'm in here at Muleman's Cricket Centre in South Perth, which is one of the leading uh, cricket shops in Australia. And I'm here with Scotty, who's got over 20 years experience of selling cricket bats. So Scotty, what do you look for when you select a cricket bat? Well, first thing Tommy, I mean, it's about what suits you personally, okay? So what might suit me, what might suit you, might be totally different to what might suit the person who's coming in to buy the bat. So I think the first thing is to get, basically just get the bat, um, come in with an open mind as well, okay? Don't be set on, yes, I definitely want this brand or this brand, because one brand might feel a lot better than another, which you initially thought that might be the best to suit you. So I think the very first thing is to just pick the bats up, okay? So um, every bat, every bit of wood will pick up differently. So the very same make and model will vary between each bat because every bit of wood's different, okay? Yeah, they're all English willow, but they got different pickups on them. So the first thing is to really just get a feel for it, okay? Um, one thing I see a lot of is people come in and say, oh, you know, they might want to specific weight but they'll come in and, and try and test the weight and they'll pick the bat up like this i mean that's useless okay so what you've got to do you've got to get a feel for it okay so basically first of all getting your stance definitely play a few shots okay big thing play a few drives also make sure you get a feel for it with cross bat shots okay so that's when you really get a feel for the weight okay so in a game obviously the ball coming down disadvantages of having a heavier bat is you'll be a little bit late on it if something's a bit too heavy for you so the very first thing to do, I reckon, is just pick the bat up and play a few shots with it, okay? In terms of weight, um, when you're picking a bat out, okay, so a full-size bat, the average weight that we sell, or the most popular weight, will be somewhere between two pound eight ounces and two pound nine ounces. So somewhere in there is always the most popular, but that same thing, it's a personal preference, okay? What would, you ask me, what would be the advantages of a lighter bat? Okay, so a lighter bat, you, first of all, you'll be able to get a bit more bat speed. Um, you'll be able to adjust your shot a little bit better. So sort of maybe a bit of an advantage, say the ball's moving around a little bit, you can, you can adjust your, your, you know, the path of your bat a little bit better. The advantage of the heavier bat is you don't need as big a back lift or to swing as hard through the ball because you, generally speaking, you'll have a bit more willow in the bat. So it'll actually rebound a little bit better but then obviously you're losing a bit of that bat speed. So I think the, the, the most important thing is feel, okay? So all bats, brands will vary a little bit, even the grip will vary. I mean, you can adjust the grip by putting another grip over the top. Um, some brands will be a little bit thinner. Some brands like Kookaburra, for example, are a little bit rounder. Um, you get <clears throat> these Grey Nichols Triple X ones here, they're a little bit more oval and a little bit thinner. So that'll, you know, you get a, a feel for that, what suits you as well. I mean, one thing to remember is you can always, if you want thicker, you can always put another grip over the top. But yeah, big thing is just pick them up, see what feels the best to you. Um, after you, I mean, I would, in terms of what you look for in the willow, okay, so the, the price of a bat will vary um, basically to the quality of the willow. So the better the grain, generally speaking, the higher the price of the bat. Um, so does the, does the better the grain, does that last longer? No, like longevity of the bat, um, usually price has nothing to do with that. So essentially what it is, is if you're paying more money, you're getting a better grain and it should perform better. I mean, that's not always the case, but in generally it is the case, but it's not always the case. I mean, you can get Sometimes you can get like a lower quality bat that might just have a few little imperfections, which can often be cosmetic. Um, so, and then they're basically cheaper bats, but they might perform exactly the same as a more expensive bat. And what about the size of the grain? The more grain, the better, or does it? Um, well, I mean, that's a little bit, uh, same thing. Each bat is a little bit um, different, but used to be like back in the day, it was about, at, as a guide, nine grains across in a full size bat is probably some, you know, either side of that is pretty good. Um, personally, I like a couple more than that. Some people might, you know, like a little bit less than that. Um, but around that nine grains across is probably, either side of that is probably pretty good. Right on. Well, there we go, guys. There's a really comprehensive insight into what it takes to select a cricket bat. We've had a lot of people contact us and ask how they should go about selecting their bat. I think, when, for me personally, um, I know a lot of people like to weigh their bat and get it exactly right to what they like.
But for me, it's all about the feel. It's all about what Scotty said, picking it up, playing some shots and just feeling it. Like this kookaburra feels quite nice in my hands. It's all about the, the shape of the handle as well. Um, different bats have different shaped handles, not just grips, and so that different handles feel different in your hands. So for me, it's all about feel. So anything else for, before we finish up? No, I think you, uh, as it, you just said there, you know, one bat, two different bats, one bat might weigh 28, and the next bat weighs 28, and they might pick up completely differently. So you might have an idea of what sort of weight that you want. You might have had a previous bat that you really liked, or you might have a mate's bat that you think, oh, this feels really good, and you get the exact weight of that. But yeah, like you just said, your best thing to do is actually pick them up, because there might be two bats, both 28, and they might pick up completely differently. So, nice one. Righto, guys, hands. if you are interested in some gear, then head over to mulemans.com.au. As you can see, they've got a great range of gear. All of next season's gear will be arriving in the shop very soon, so you can, you can order that online. And I uh, hope you've enjoyed that insight on how to select a bat. G'day, just uh, here with Adam Voges um, today, just going to talk about the bats that he's using for this season coming. I've um, got one here, this one he actually used in New Zealand and notched up a couple hundred, so it's obviously going all right for him. Um, the new shape is slightly different, isn't it, but pretty similar really. So what have you, I mean, you've had a few hits of these ones now, what have you sort of found with these and, and the slight difference in them? Yeah, we haven't, that's... Yeah, we haven't changed too much uh, in terms of the, the actual shape itself. Um, maybe if anything, we've gone a slightly higher spine at the back there. Um, you probably can't see, but there, there probably isn't a heap of difference there between the two. There's probably slightly higher at the spine here than, and maybe a slightly fuller shape there, but um, just meaning we can get slightly bigger edges. Um, maybe just taking a little bit of weight out through the back there, but we've got big edges, big spine, and um, they're weighing in at about two, eight and a half. So they're, they're big bats and they're nice and light, and that's perfect for what I want. Yeah, so yeah, same thing with, with all of them. Yeah, really massive profile, but they've still got a really great pick up on them. Um, the middle, where, where do you think, you know, middle sort of more mid, just mid range, you wouldn't really say it's high or low, would you, for these ones? Or? No, not really. Um, it's, yeah, it's pretty central. I mean, I tend to hit balls slightly higher, particularly batting at home at the Wacker. Um, so I do like to have a, a middle that's a little bit higher, but I find that. With this shape, we can actually have quite a big middle throughout the bat, so um, it works really well. And grip, you use quite thin grip. Has it always been the same with that? Is that sort of? The... Yeah, I mean, your grip's a, a personal preference. Yep. But yeah, I, I, I generally like to have just a single grip and, and quite a thin grip. Um, it's what I've used and um, it's what I've had a bit of success with. So um, just again, it's pretty individual, but that's that's what I like going with. So there you go. So yeah, both he uses about two eight and a half. Um, Sometimes some even a little low two eight. Um, big bats, really nice pick up. But yeah, that's this year's bat, the, the Grove Royal. So uh, come in and grab one. All right, we just got the Kookaburra bats in and they look really good. And who better to go through them and talk about what he used to use and look for in a bat than Mike Hussey. Huss, what did you look for in picking out your bats? Um, well, I guess pick up is really important. Um, you know, you just, I just like to close my eyes and just feel the pick up of the bat, and generally it feels nice and light in the pick up. That was good. I used to look at the shape of the bat as well. Um, I used to quite like quite a high middle. Yeah. Uh, you know, in India they like having a big low middle because mm -hmm. it doesn't bounce much, but in Australia a bit more bounce on our pitch. So I used to like for a nice high middle. That also helped with the balance of the bat. Yeah. Um, help pick it bat up nicely. Then, then you know, check out the grain. I used to like probably about eight to ten sort of grains in there, look for nice and straight. I personally actually didn't like the dark grains, I used to like the lighter grains, I yep. felt like the wood was a little bit softer and so you could use it straight away and the mm -hmm. performance was really good. Whereas the, hard, uh, the harder uh, bats, it took a little bit of knocking in and, and then they were still great bats as well, but I used to like them to perform really well straight yeah. away. Um, and that's pretty much it, really. Uh, so weight, though, like you went on just on pickup, or did you actually no, no, like having a particular weight? No, no, I was very weight? particular about my weight as well. Yep. Um, and, and uh, you know, you used to carry a number of bats with you, some practice bats and, and obviously some match bats, and yep. I used to try and get all my weights in my bat exactly the same. Yep. So I used to go for, I used to sort of fluctuate between 2.8 and 2.9. Yep. I was quite light. Some of the other guys in the Australian team used to be heavier. They, they were up over 2.10. Yep. Um, but I used to like to be a little bit lighter, just, just the way I played, I liked, used to like to control the bat quite a lot, you know, working the ball into gaps and being able to get up and play the pull shots and cut yeah. shots and play the pace bowlers really well. So, um, 
that that's what I sort of went for. Um, and so yeah, weight weight was very important as well. Yeah. All right. Percy. Yeah. So hopefully, yeah, come in and have a look at the bats. So this year's Kookaburra bats. Me and Justin actually went over to India and picked them all out, and I reckon they're a lot of beauties in there. So uh, come and grab one. Thanks, us. No worries.